Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry from Bella Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, uh, it seems like you got a little touch of the Star Wars I'm today. I'm so excited about this. Uh, oh, Star Wars man. Rebellion. Uh, if you've ever played Forbidden Stars or Twilight Imperium, very similar concept game-wise. Shorter. Star Wars universe. <laughs> yeah, shorter. Uh, put it in a Star Wars universe. And, oh. Pretty stoked about this one. Look at this game. Look how thick that is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in this box. Uh, I've opened one already. I'm pretty stoked to, to go through with you. Because this is actually in stores right now. Yes. You can go home and buy it. Buy it right buy now. Buy it right yes. now. So. This is this the Star Wars game oh, for the year, pretty sure. So I'm excited to open this. It's good stuff. Let's quit poking around here and get in this box. All right, let's do it. All right, man. All uh, right. Star Wars Rebellion. Yes. Yeah, so You're excited. a little excited about I'm this. So, one. I'm, I'm shaking. He's a little, uh, little shaky. I'm not shaking. from the, the energy drinks. Would you like <laughs> to do the honors? Uh, yes, please. Uh, this is for you. It. Real quick, too. Well, we got it. Oh, we that's to do that. Back. Back of the box. Tons of stuff in this. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to be a little impressed by the amount of stuff in this box. I think so. The minis look good. I'm excited to see those. It's heavy. Yeah, it's a good weight to it. All right. It's like 300 pounds. Uh, Not really. Let's see how many uh, tokens <laughs> Fantasy Flight put in here. <laughs> it is Fantasy Flight games, obviously. They have the Star Wars, oh, all man. the good stuff there. So, that's just, just so many good There we go. There you go. Here we go. All right. Flip the box. Man, there's so much stuff. All right. Dun, dun, dun. And it's a really oh, fancy oh. box because it's FFG. Oh, there we go. There we go. The All right. Section there. We got the little catalog. I'll grab that out of the way for you. Uh, instructions don't learn to actually play. look that heavy. Um, very small. So. Well, well there's two different that. things. You got oh, the learn to oh. place thing here, which is basically when you mm. want to jump in, read this one first. When you have that friend that wants to argue rules, there you go. This is what rules the rules reference is for. I like it. I like this it. is all of the fancy, all the index, all the important stuff. Okay, there. so it's a quick rule but sheet. But this is the one you start with. Okay, it tells you how to set like up the board, graphics all for the that, components. And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. We'll put that to the side. We'll come back to that one. All right. First We've pack got, of tokens. No, yes. Wait, what is this? Oh, those are. These are, I believe, they are the the player cards. Okay. So let me open this one up here. Basically, if you are playing the, uh, you can play this game two to four players. Oh, that's nice. So it's kind of cool because it's not just one on one, but you've got a team game. This is the, the team card. So you see in there, it says Galactic Empire team game. And then if you just want to play one on one, there's the solo. That's very unique. And then this is the cool. Rebel Alliance team side. And then so solo side. side. That's very cool. But it, it's, they're pretty much the same setup, but it, it lets the players kind of see where, what's going on. You get the leader pool and everything like that, the like mission that. decks. But these are for the players to choose. Uh, it looks like they have different uh, different factions have the different stuff to use. Like you mm -hmm. have the ATAT -AT there for yep. the Empire and stuff like that. Well, we're, we're gonna get to all those. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just getting ahead of myself. Put those on the side. All right. Here's your tokens. First, First set. stack. Uh, characters. It looks like these are all the leader cards. So there's I think 25 different leader cards. Okay, very cool. So tons of stuff there, and then different planets and stuff. These are actually uh, I don't know if you can tell, but those are asteroid fields because they're destroyed planet uh, ah. tokens. Because there's a Death Star. Never there's forget Elder and, cool. <laughs> and there's the back of all the tokens. There's a ton of tokens. Oh, FFG's yeah. got to get their the token board. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Yeah, you take a, take a crack at the board. It's actually two full size boards. Oh, full size. You get a yeah. chain between them? Uh, no, you put them together. Oh, oh, <laughs> even better. <laughs> so it's a massive board. Uh, let me pull these out while we're doing that, while you're opening that. We've got all of the miniatures. We've got dice, which are custom dice. Decks of cards, which we'll get to Some all in a second, and then, and then the organized box. organized box. Yes. Yeah. So okay. let me move this stuff to the side. All right. So we got our maps here. Dun 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 dun. dun. Check this out. Oh, Mandalore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is this is one board section, one half of the board. Oh, okay. And, and it's just... it's a full size. Like this this could be a board game by itself, but yeah. you can tell. Like, this is one half of the galactic map. Now is it for a two-player game, you play with one half and then for four? Nope. Oh, it's just all together. This is okay. one giant board for the full... And then you've got the different stuff on the side here. Uh, you can kind of make out there's the objectives, locations, rebel stuff, the, the turn counter, or the okay. uh, objective points, scoring, right, basically, right. anything like that, and then probe deck, and it's got all the places for your decks to go. And then this is the other half. Ooh, and it's got some card slots right here, if you mm -hmm. can see. Um, the well, build guess, order, too? Oh, build order. Okay, yeah, I see. So, it's very, uh, I guess, 
Twilight Imperium mask? Yeah. Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. but but uh, the thing is that, th I mean, obviously it's FFG, so they made right. Twilight Imperium too. Right. But this game is really cool because it's, I think it plays a lot faster than a Twilight Imperium game. That's nice. That's very so nice. It's, it's refreshing, at least. Yeah, yeah. but it plays, a, there. there's some similarities. I mean, they are both space games, but mm -hmm. they are have a lot of differences. This game is, of course, a two-player, two-sided conflict. Right. Twilight Imperium's right. free for all. And they definitely have a lot of the major planets from. Oh yeah. The uh, at least the cinematic universe. Uh, right. For right. Sure. Uh, and it's a couple of ones that that um, have been mentioned in the EU and stuff like that that are kind right. of here, like that's Mandalorian nice. pointed out. Right. Um, Illyrium. That's a big thing for Star Wars Rebels fans. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's on yeah. there too. I think it's on this one. Definitely. Uh, 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 Ilium. Sorry, not Illyrium. That's something else. Kessel. The old Kessel run yeah. there. Uh, the the Wookiee oh. home planet, which I can't pronounce. No spoilers or anything, but like Alderaan's still still there. <laughs> <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> there's even there's Yavin and, and Hoth around That's here. Nice. That's so nice. So there's a ton of ton of really cool plants uh, from the from the thing. But cool. yeah, this game is similar to. It's got some similarities with Twilight Imperium, but again, it is an asymmetrical two sided conflict versus a big free for all where everybody's relatively equal. Right. Okay. Um, there's a there's a big difference there. I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna put these down so we can actually see ah, the minis. Yeah, the minis because they are great, and we have a great background. They're pretty high detail too. Oh yeah, nice. There's a ton of stuff. I'm just gonna dump it out here. Oh wow! <laughs> Should we point this out? The uh, Death Star comes in parts. Comes yes. in parts. Okay. Oh. Oh, so so yeah, you put that. That's actually the destroyed Death Star. The destroyed Death Star. All right. So you're gonna take that piece I'm, and I'm that piece, and then minutes. I'm gonna take like this piece and this piece. Oh. You can see they go, they snap together really easy. So it's got a little gap there and then uh, this has a little gap on the inside and you just kind of match up the gaps and push them together and they snap fit. Pretty good fit too, pretty tight. So kind of <laughs> snap them in there, but yeah. It's very cool. This one's a fully functional battle station. Oh, very this one's, good. This is, this uh, is a maybe. The rebel forces think that it's not functional. <laughs> Oh, it's again, a trap. No spoilers. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's check out those Super Star Destroyers, man. Oh, man. You have the Super Star Destroyers. Very cool. And then you've got the uh, Imperial, the not quite Super Star Destroyers. They're still big. So man. these things are awesome looking. They're just two snap, two piece models. They snap together really easy. You don't actually need glue, it'll, it'll hold. We've got the. She'll uh, hold together, baby. She'll hold together. Rebel Flagship Home One as yep. well. Yeah. We've got a couple of those. The big. Oh, very nice. Carillion. And then we've got our little. little Mechanized mm -hmm. dogs, the ATATs. Yes. yes. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I like it. And then we've also got little mini uh, chicken walkers around here somewhere. There, oh, there we go. Boom. Even the uh, boom atmosphere turret. Yeah, the the, the ion cannon. Yeah, the that's big ion cannon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Star Wars Nord. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Ion Cannon is awesome. Snow speeders as well. We've got speeders. We've got those AT -ATs. We even have the uh, the shield generators from Hoth <laughs> for the Rebels. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. I mean, these are and the cool thing is like the, I love the detail on these things. They're pretty amazing. Yeah, they're very cool. Uh, it's definitely scaled down. Uh, these ties are very similar to the ones. They're a little bit bigger than the ones from Armada. Oh, okay. But yeah. you can tell like. I mean, it's the same, same DNA. Same with the X-Wings. Yeah. yeah, very similar. Yeah, the same DNA across the board. So, I mean, you've got X-Wings. There's Y-Wings in here, too, somewhere. I'm, I'm the big Kirlian Corvette, that's what I was talking about earlier. Stormtroopers as well. Very yes. Cool. Very small. Oh, yeah, there's a, and there's tons of stuff. And you can kind of tell, just from looking at the colors on this table, yeah. the Rebels are the tan and the Imperials are all the gray. So that's, I feel like that would look nice, too, on the board. Just yeah. Just to, to be able to see the difference easily. And it just really highlights that asymmetrical gameplay of the Rebels. Just They just don't have the same... Military might as the right, Empire. I can see that. The but, Empire is darker anyway. Dun, so dun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, whole the whole point of the game is is they they have different ways to win. So, right. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, the Empire wants to crush the rebellion, you know, in a big military battle and stuff like that. And the, the rebels want to just kind of get their their objectives are to to get support from the rest of the Empire. So oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. That asymmetrical gameplay. There's, I like it. Yeah. And because of that, both players are really on a clock. Because the longer the game goes, the easier it is for the rebels. Not easier, but the more support they've gathered yeah, for the rebels. So you, right. as an empire, you want to destroy them quickly. Right. Yeah. But okay, it's cool. also you have your objectives to score. Speaking that's of objectives, cool. I believe they're in here. So there's actually three different objective decks. Oh. Okay. So and there there's 15 objectives total. So five in each. And it's kind of one, two, and three. They're labeled. Here we go. So these are the the round three objectives. But you can kind of see here. There's a little Grand Moff Tarkin yeah, hanging out. Tarkin. So you've got you know there's three, there's two, and they're different kind of objectives that you do. Um, this one here was upside down. Combat. Play after you win a ground system battle on the subjugated system. Liberation. 
you just get score the objectives. And so uh, it's it's cool. They 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 really went all out. What are these cards? Oh, these are the uh, tactical cards. Tactical so, cards. Okay. Um, yeah, I missed the. I actually screwed this up. That is the rebel version because it's targeting the ATAT -AT on the back. Oh. See, it's it's looking through the targeter there. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was a, the Imperial one at first, but oh, because like, it wait has a minute. it has you know stormtroopers, the jungle exactly. ones, in defense formation. I see. Yeah. So but that's it's targeting the. AT -AT. They're they're targeting those guys. And this one is the Empire one on the back. Beliefs. So. Wait, actually, well, this one's the. Oh. We got no. them mixed up. No. So this one is. Yeah, that one there is the uh, that's the rebel one. Oh, because it's yeah. the Millennium Falcon. Okay. Yeah, yeah these are that makes slated. sense. Hang on, you've got he's got a bunch of decks here. That's why. So this is uh, these are assignment cards and some other stuff. This one doesn't matter. Yeah, and that goes on the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So okay. we've got the rebel ones here that are actually targeting. Uh, yeah, they're targeting like the ATATs and ATSTs. See how it's taking damage. In? Yeah, yeah. So that's what that one is for. And then over here on the back of these cards, you've got the uh, the X-wing getting targeted. See, that's the that's okay. The Imperial one, I like so. it. Yeah. And then you've got the Imperial thing on the front, on the flip side. So, yeah. So those are strategic cards that you play. They're kind of like things you, you keep in reserve to to uh, to play during the fight to like tip it in your favor. Right. Type thing. Okay. So like. You know your last ditch effort. And you get to draw that from the from the pool or whatever. These are the different probe cards, which are obviously the probe deck. Um, they're different planets, and like the Empire gets to search those and stuff like that. So, Very and cool. uh, there's cool. a special thing how that how that gets revealed for the the Empire and the Rebels and stuff like that. Uh, these are I can't remember the name. These are the mission cards, I think. No. Objective? Oh no. I forget what these are called. The, the name is Casey. But you've got an Imperial version and a Rebel version. Uh, one of each. This is the Falcon cockpit. And TIE Fighter. And the TIE Fighter. Interesting. Yep. So, okay. And those have a different effect, which I can't remember at the top of my head right now. <laughs> uh, those are the objective cards. We covered those. One, two, and three. Uh, then we've got these. Yes, these are, these are uh, um, secret objective things. Oh, okay, very cool. So they're a little different. There's right those this deck, and then you have a rebel version. There's a ton of cards. You can see as me <laughs> flipping through these. As it is an epic uh, level <laughs> scale game. Yes, very nice. Yes, there's a ton of cool card. Lots of beautiful artwork. Um, yeah. What else do you want to look at, man? There's a ton of stuff. <laughs> cool. We got plastic. Yeah, there's sport. good. Let's look at the dice. Let's look at the dice. <laughs> yes, there's there's a there are there's, there's a dice game. So this is a little bit different. The, the dice are actually the same. I found this out the hard way. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. But there's just two different sets. Black there's and ten red. dice, black and red. Uh, so very cool. they, they, they have the same odds of rolling everything. Okay. But That's... you've got like your fo force dice, uh, target dice, critical dice, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's good stuff. All right, all right. And then, just real quick, too. Again, like you mentioned, the, the rules. Uh, that's a rules reference. Where's the other one? It's on the bottom. There it is. Yeah. We're organized around here, folks. <laughs> So the rules reference, we can flip through this from real fast. Uh, it looks like a lot of text. You're probably not going to need to organize text. Yeah, yeah, it's it's technical reading. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this just clarifies every little. Like you said, if you had a buddy who had a problem, you can. You can <laughs> and it's it's written it's written to explain everything. So oh, that's, that's why good. Okay. You know, it's it, not vague. It's, it's just, right. It's, it's very clear and concise. That's nice. And that's it's very, nice. very descriptive. So. Again, you've got that buddy. Okay. You know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that buddy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, the learn to play. This is a quick booklet. It's only 20 pages. Uh, this one again goes through everything you need to to play. Uh, goes through everything that you get. So we have the objective cards as I mentioned, mission cards. So the Imperial That's and Rebel card. That's okay. what those were. Uh, yes, the probe were. droid. Then we have the tactical cards. And then the action cards. That's what I was okay. trying to say. Makes action sense. cards, you you do yeah. Yeah. Action. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's it's a really cool little rule book. Yeah. It's got tons of tons of uh, how to play stuff. Obviously, very fantasy flight. But yeah. <laughs> very fantasy flight. It's really well done. Full color all the way through. It's nice. Very impressive. Um, 
the how to play the game is not that complicated either. I don't, right. I don't remember the term sequence right off the top of my head. But if you just, do play other games that are like yeah. F Forbidden Stars, is it very similar to that? Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, it's it's in the same vein. Okay, just good. like yeah. Twilight Imperium is the same vein as this one. Right, They're but it has some games. things like it's not like a copy or anything. Exactly, like yeah. this is not a copying carbon copy. Of those. If you did like those games, you'll you, probably like this one too. Interesting. Okay, I like so, that. So yeah, yeah, it's not. These are not carbon copies of the, of those games. But okay, very good. It definitely has its own flavor. Like I mentioned again, that asymmetrical gameplay. Right. But both players are feeling the, the stress. You know? I like it. So it's a definitely it's not a, a game unless experience. you feel the stress. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a ton of stuff. Uh, I think we covered it all, man. Was there anything else that you wanted to point out real quick? Oh man. Um, are you pumped about this? I one? am so pumped. Um, I would like to play today. <laughs> <laughs> we will after the camera stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Well, let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was Star Wars Rebellion. Really cool new box Star Wars game. Yes. This thing yes. is almost hernia inducing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna get a good workout out of it. You know, it's, it's very nice. Yeah. Very cool space game. Galactic Fantasy Civil Flight. War. Yeah. Made by Fantasy Flight, of course. Yes. Um, and Price point on this one? Uh, it is actually ninety nine ninety five. Okay, cool. uh, so hundred dollars, and uh, it you can you get your money's worth. It's a very cool game, very good replayability. Um, oh yeah. I mean, what's cool about this too is it, it's got a lot of the cinematic things from the movies. Definitely, yes. But you get your own twist on that. So for sure, yeah. Uh, maybe Han doesn't get captured in Carbonite. Maybe it was Princess Leia. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> is it a spoiler for a third movie? Uh, right. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, <laughs> why are you looking? Why at are you game? watching? That? <laughs> Go watch the movie. Go watch the movie. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. You can replay those cinematic moments in the the first original trilogy. Definitely. And um, see if you do it a little differently. Yeah, it has a lot of nods to the movies and a lot of inside stuff too. If you yep. read any of the extended universe or anything like that. So it's very cool. Very cool. And it's uh, two to four players. Yes, Again, two to four players. Two sides, asymmetrical gameplay. Gameplay wise, uh, it usually lasts around, I'd say, three to four hours. Um, it's it's, right. If your first yeah. game, probably going to take you Definitely. four hours. Um, but it is, it's an epic level game and it's fun. Uh, yeah. Go sit down with friends. Yeah. This um, is a good Saturday afternoon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hanging out with your this friends. This is a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my kind of Saturday. <laughs> Cool. It's a great game from FFG. We mentioned yes, that already. FFG. Star Wars Rebellion in stores right now. Yes, right now. You can Go check it out. Now. Yes. yes. Well, that's been another Tabletop Spotlight. I'm Adam Hayer from Bella Souls. And I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics Fantasy. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Oh.